Beloved in Christ, I know you have heard the term a self-made man, uh, a term that has many untruths um, about it, because no one truly makes themselves. But one of the most dangerous uh, latter days deception the enemy has perpetrated against the lost is the fact that many false adherents of religion cannot understand that the Spirit of God inhabits one and makes one God's saints and his children. There is no such thing as a self made Christian, beloved. Nothing, nothing. Uh, but rather we are perfected in Christ Jesus. The Word of God says in Colossians 1, 28, 29, whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. It's the Spirit of God that Paul was referencing to that was working in him mightily. But what was the purpose? The purpose, beloved, of the Spirit working in him was to change him, was to direct him, was to perfect him. Glory be to the living God. In the same way it is for you and I, we become children of God by the Spirit of God that worketh in us. There is no way that we can fully wrap our minds around this reality. But in ourselves and of ourselves, remember, we are worthless dust. From dust you were made, and dust you will remain. Beloved, in Christ, as Paul was speaking of, presenting the church at that moment in perfection, was the fact that he, from the teachings that he was sharing, he was teaching them <clears throat> the perfected will of God. But in Christ, as he present us, we are perfect. Glory be to God. I did a, 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 a study not long ago that establishes that fact. Only that which is perfected will live on the new earth with the Lord Jesus Christ. That which is not perfected will be cast out. Amen? But only that which is perfected. And so Jesus presents us perfected because of the Spirit of God that now inhabits and lives in every born-again believer. Paul's statement is a, uh, uh, a precursor to Jesus presenting us perfect before his Father in heaven. Amen? That's what Jesus will do. He will present us perfect. Perfected, because the Spirit of God that now lives in us mightily. Uh, it is not out of our good works, it is not out of our good deeds, and many denominations speaks that kind of language that is about how we are and what we become and not understanding that it is a self-effort and that self-effort does not allow the Holy Spirit of God in order to direct their lives, 
in order to uh, perfect their lives at all. And even though they may be some of the good people of this earth, goodness in itself means nothing to Almighty God because your goodness is the rejection of Christ's sacrifice. So, beloved, there is no such thing as a self-made Christian, but one who is born into God's system of adoption. Beloved in Christ, may the Lord open your heart to His understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.